This weekend, in honor of diversity and love equality, Pink Dot Hong Kong celebrated its third edition with friends, families, allies, and even with their four-legged friends. The carnival is free, but it also serves as a platform in what remains to be a very traditional society like Hong Kong. For Vivian Wan, it's her second time attending the carnival. If we can go more public, because it's somehow like we're still like in in a community with rather. And actually, some of my other friends, maybe they think they said they're fine with LGBT, but they not really get into that uh, community and realize their situations. And most of them is like, mm, uh, okay, if you are uh, gay or lesbian, but uh, they don't feel that. Uh, Maybe in Hong Kong, we are still a very traditional society. And Pink Dot Hong Kong this year brought together entertainers, celebrities, and various organizations as part of the fun and games. And for Meek and Karen, it's an eye-opening experience for both of them. I noticed that there are like a lot of people, like that much, and music, and many. You can visit like many photo taking, and you can see many people that participating in. Particularly, you can see the T-shirt with different company as sponsored, which is pretty amazing compared to the one. I I participate in California, which I don't think that much company are sponsoring it. So I think it's a really great I would event. Say like the, this event, the Pink Dog event, like all a lot of us are wearing the pink T-shirt, which is like quite amazing. Like we rarely wear that on actually. That it stands for the importance of the, the the diversity in the community, the LGBT. Various booths were set up in different areas of the park. A great way to meet new people. Meron kasi kami gustong uh, tawag nito uh, may sagawang Pride March Parade ng mga L LGBT community sa, na, sa Hong Kong, I mean ng mga Pilipino LGBT. So this is a good opportunity to uh, get some uh, support with the locals and makapag-create uh, na rin ng alliances with them. So at least may promote namin kung ano ang meron sa LGBT migrants. So yun. International organizations like this one came all the way from Taiwan. The need to raise awareness about LGBTQ issues still remained important. I think here in Taiwan is both very open mind for LGBT, and uh, but in Taiwan because we begin the LGBTQ, um, this um, very uh, this culture very like I think already like 30 years ago. So we have biggest gay pride uh, of Asia. Yeah, I think. Um, and in Taiwan, you can see, uh, especially Taipei, you can see many like uh, two guys or two girls walk, uh, hold hand and walk on the street. It is okay for that. And then with government, uh, we talk about again, let's be marriage, these kind of uh, things in the government, uh, these three of these five years. We have to work out of that, yet, but uh, it's not success successful yet, but we are like step by step to, to work on that. But for those living overseas, families are hard to come by, and that's why groups like Pink Season Hong Kong offers a wide variety of activities to make home away from home more special. It's a five week long festival, am I talking to you? Uh, it's a five long week festival which is uh, encompassing art, theatre, education, sports, entertainment. It's, uh, we've got 25 different events, so it's again about you know, different groups working together and you know, forming a good, uh, you know, uh, allies and uh, you know again you see how many people are here today breaking down the barriers Love wins, Roy Missing. in a city with an endless summer filled with activities just like clockwork the giant human pink dot has once again made diversity and inclusivity possible even if it's just momentarily reporting at West Kowloon Nursery Park I'm Jeff Mendoza